And the first two of 21 beams for the new Fern Hollow Bridge have now officially arrived to the site in Frick Park. Sky 4 capturing the oversized load traveling down the highway today. The beams making their way through Pittsburgh, arriving from Blair County. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Paul Van Osdell joins us live with a closer look at the rebuilding of the bridge. Paul? You can see behind me the first two beams in place on the Squirrel Hill side of Fern Hollow. With an emergency declaration, PennDOT hopes to have the bridge ready for traffic by the end of this year. Sky 4 was there when two 150-foot-long, 100-ton beams made their way from Altoona into Pittsburgh, onto Forbes Avenue, past CMU, to the Fern Hollow Bridge site. Then contractors maneuvered the first beam into place across the span closest to Squirrel Hill, nearly 90 feet above Frick Park. Local officials were thrilled to hear a new bridge could open by the end of the year. This is a miracle to have this bridge up this fast is nothing short of miraculous. Every day that we go without this bridge in place is a day we, that we reroute 18,000 vehicles. In the next few weeks, 21 beams will be installed. When complete, the bridge will have a five-foot sidewalk on one side and a 10-foot bike and walking path on the other side. Even with a waiver from bidding or permitting rules, PennDOT says supply chain snags could delay the bridge completion. We're having a little bit of difficulty procuring the bridge barrier, and obviously we're not open, opening a 90-foot high bridge without barrier. When they finish installing beams on the Squirrel Hill side of Fern Hollow, PennDOT says they plan to take apart that crane and bring it over here to the region square side to finish installing the beams. Now, despite the accelerated schedule, PennDOT says they are taking no shortcuts when it comes to safety.